the full evaluation, uh, contrary to the quick start, uh, will import the whole paper. And so uh, let's say I import a file. And uh, here is my file. It's an ODT file, which means it has created with the open office. And it says, does the automatically extracted ID in the right panel look good to you? Let me have a look. Mm, no, it looks as though it's messed up. So I'll say no. And so it will not import them correctly. Word of warning, those of you who have a PDF file, it, when you import a PDF file, usually you get rubbish. You get a lot of problems here, not, not as clean as this. And so what I would recommend if you do that, uh, that you, instead of uh, importing the file, you pretty much bring the PDF file one segment at a time by copying and pasting into this window until you have the whole paper, okay? Uh, you don't need to bring the, uh, well, even the references will be useful. So we've imported the file. And so the first thing it asks is to uh, pretty much uh, bring the uh, headings here. Okay, add to headings. Okay, so let's uh, add to the headings. Heading starts with the introduction. So please don't start with the abstract or the title, the headings of a paper in the for Swan. Uh, we'll start with the introduction. Notice that when I highlight the text here and say add to headings, it shows up here. This means it's a level one heading. Uh, by clicking on these arrows, you create a different uh, level. Uh, in this case, we have this heading, then add to headings, experimental method. Now in this particular format here with the uh, ODT, uh, the sections are with the colon. So this one is a, again, add to headings, but it is a subheading. So it will be a level two. Uh, this looks like it's also a subheading. 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 Subheading again new section at level one, subheading, subheading, That's a heading, and this one is a heading. So you st start with the introduction, you stop, if you have one, you stop at the conclusion or at the discussion uh, or the last subheading of your discussion. Uh, don't go into the acknowledgement, don't go into the figure, don't go into the references. So you start with the introduction and finish with the conclusion and uh, allocate the correct level. Then uh, we've added the headings, so we could go into the structure. So after filling in the headings here, we now go to the structure. And so now we can append the title, abstract, introduction, conclusion. This is how you bring the whole paper into Swan. So this one append to the title. This one, and by the way, don't, don't bring the word abstract in it, huh? just the abstract itself, not the heading. Introduction. And conclusion. Last time we did that manually in the other mode of entry. Here we go. Now, so we've entered the heading, we've entered the structure, we are finished. And so now we can go here and basically uh, answer new questions that were not there uh, because we, in the quick mode of entry, we do not have access to the structure. So it now says which, which section of this paper, you have the title of the paper here, which section of the paper contains the, uh, the contribution? Well, we know that. We know that this is a, a method here. 
and so it's going to be this full section here uh, is going to be uh, the contribution of the paper. All right. So, by the way, if you want to check the references, you click here. It will check whether you have uh, uh, all the references that you mention in your paper. They're also uh, in uh, the list of references at the end of your paper. Okay, so then we finished entering the structure. You can always go back and import and modify the structure here. Let's go and enter the title. Uh, I'll go very quickly on this one because we've already done it. So bear with me a second. We now start the full evaluation of the paper. Uh, this full evaluation uh, contains the title, the abstract, the introduction, and the structure. Now, interestingly, the structure is also used to evaluate the title and the abstract. So this is a new part of the paper which is evaluated, and we will can evaluate the structure. And it says, is some of the work your structure are not found in your abstract, okay? And uh, some title words are not found in your abstract. And so this is, allows you to identify whether you have in the headings and subheadings of your structure some, some potential opportunities to strengthen the consistency, the cohesion of your whole paper by mentioning again uh, words which are important because they are words that are in the title and words that are in the abstract.